That was last night's footage outside Ibrox after the team returned to the stadium. But today, Chris Boyd has responded to the fans shouting at James Tavernier and Co. I don't like that. I don't like it. Um, I get that um, people are upset, but I mean, driving to Ibrox and, and um, having a go at, at um, you know your players, it's just know what Rangers do. I, I, as I said, it's no... Boyd is right about one thing. It's not what Rangers have done, but you know what? It's what needs to be done. He's not. He's right though. It hasn't been done, and you know what? Tavernier and those players need to get called out. And John Sutter sitting there smirking away, man, in the background. I get it. Some guy screaming at Tav, right? It's it's probably came out of the blue. And maybe you know the guy's calling Tav all this, and Tav's biting back, and maybe it's a wee bit amusing. But you know, it's like two hours after they've got scud it, humiliate it. In the, in the old farm, man. I, I just do not understand it for the life of me why John Sutter's smiling. But, I mean, this is Boyd in the media, right? He can't turn, and he's an ex-player as well. Again, he, I, I'm not surprised he's come out and said this, right? Chris Boyd's hardly going to come out and say, oh, you know what, I totally agree with the fan. He should have done more, man. He should have Batista bombed James Tavernier off the top of Ibrox, right? I get it, he's never going to come out and say that, but I think it is a bit weak for Boyd, but... You know, that is just that is just the, the media nature that we live in. It, it, things like that are always going to get condemned by the media and pundits alike. It, but for me, it's just the tip of the iceberg. It's going to happen. It's going to get a hell of a lot worse, guys, before it gets better. Uh, you know, strap in, so to speak. Um, and let's be honest, he just called Tav a fucking loser, I mean, about ten times over. Uh, I mean, there wasn't any punches thrown. There was nothing physical. It was simply verbal. It was a fan letting James Tavernier know about what's going on. The boy used the, an example, saying, oh, well, you know, if you bought something from a shop, you wouldn't go into the shop if it was poor quality and, you know, let the worker know all about it. I think it's massively different, boy. I mean, this is football. This is Rangers Football Club. This isn't going into Poundland and getting a chocolate bar that's a day out of date or something. You know, the, the, there is bigger fish to fry than going into a shop and, oh, that, that top shrunk after its first wash or some shite like that. I think if a guy wants to drive down the Ibrox or, you know, if he lives close, walk, cycle, I don't give a fuck what he's doing. If he wants to get to Ibrox and let Chris, uh, not Chris, was Chris Sutton, and let um, James Tavernier have a piece of his mind and go ahead, because these players need to know that this ain't good enough and that they're not just going to be able to sit there and steal a wage because they've stole a wage for far too long. And these new players, I hope they their ears pricked up at that and they heard what got said and they... Oh shit, I don't want to feel the brunt of that again. I need to step up to task. But the reality is they probably won't. It's pathetic all around, man. Chris Boyd, I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised, right? I'm, I'm not surprised that Chris Boyd has said this, as I said earlier. But no, I, I totally back the fan. I've combined these two fids into one. But the fan saying it to Tav, justified. Gets my blessing. Not that that means anything to anybody, but <laughs> totally right. Totally right. And you know what? You look on Twitter, you look in the comment sections, man. Word of mouth, whatever. I think the majority of Rangers fans will agree with that. You know, no one's is, is sitting here wanting, as I said earlier, you know, physical, not asking this guy, not asking Tav to get battered by this guy. Absolutely not. Don't want any violence like that. But to get confronted, absolutely. It needs to be addressed. You know, this board need hound it out. The players, 99% of them need hound it out. The manager needs to go. Right, and he got confronted as well, which again wasn't even that bad. I mean, the clip that I seen, they're just calling him a loser, and come on's whipping out the four fingers. Oh, the, we had four shots on target, four shots on target. It's okay, it's okay. We beat Ross County six nil, six nil. It was our best result in four years. No, for me, for that talk alone, you should be getting the sack. Best result in four years, but it's the most goals we've scored. I don't care, man. It was against fucking Ross County. Embarrassing, man. What's happened to this club? Seriously? It's turning into an absolute joke. It's a disgrace what's going on. Seriously? Why, what is going on? More people need to wake up and realise. I, mean, I was saying I was saying this in May. You know, I was saying this in March even. You know, well, what was going on? People only begin to wake up now. I've had people even come out on streams and apologise to me. And, you know, I don't, I don't, there's no need to fall out with anybody over this. The only people you should be falling out with is your Rangers players and your, you know, the board. That's, that's the, 
you know, fans shouldn't be following it with each other. See, at the end of the day, you know, everyone backs the team. It's not, not none of this is our fault. Now, I mean, I have said like the happy clappers are just as guilty, and I, I, I mean, I guess that's kind of contradicting what I just said. But you know, people people wake up eventually and admit they were wrong, and I think that's beginning to happen. People are beginning to wake up and see, you know, actually, I've backed this regime for far too long. These players, it's, you know, they need to turn on them, and and it's it's just a mess, and it's. I mean, you know, we're second best and we're fourth in the league. Work out on it. Soul destroying. <laughs>